Time we saw this man, his face was on every newspaper for weeks of uh, waging war against First Gentleman Mike Arroyo. Today we find him uh, allied with uh, the leader of another administration, that's of course Joseph Estrada, the convicted plunderer removed from Malacanang on the same grounds. He once accused uh, the current president. Joining us once again on the show tonight is Jose Devanesha III. Joey, welcome to the program. It's nice having you here again. Thank you for having nice me. Nice seeing you. Yeah. We do yeah. Uh, catch up on our uh, <laughs> hobbies backstage. Yeah. But today, tonight, it's uh, politics talk. Yeah. Uh, Joey, let me go ahead and throw it out real uh, real quick here. Are you running in 2010? We're hearing rumors. W what's the deal? Um, well, I commissioned the survey with SWS, and I'm rating. Okay. I'm, I have a chance. You have so a chance. November 30, I'll be filing. Most likely, I'll be filing. Um, for Senate. Uh, uh, for the Senate, yeah. Now, when you... Is that the number one thing you look at when you decide if you're going to run for the senatorial uh, seat is the winnability more than kind of anything else? Yes, of course. I think the winnability is important. Um, uh, there are some candidates that uh, can throw money at, at, at campaigns, but they're not winnable and they don't right. make it. No? And we've seen examples of them in 2007. So for me, it's just looking at my rating and if it's improving and the trust on me is getting better. Then, then that actually pushed me to, to consider. You know, um, I like that yet. answer because it's realistic. You know, yeah. um, it's not yeah. a lot of sugar coating. You know, I mean, like, yeah. okay, I'm looking at the surveys. My name's there. Mm -hmm. Hey, might as well give it a run, right? Yeah. But, but as as a, is part of this though the fact that your father is not is no longer going to be in Congress? Um, is it a something that he is encouraging you as well to keep the Devanesha name in Congress to say that uh, I don't want to call it a family business, but you know, it is <laughs> politics. A lot of families, you know, have their sons and, and wives and yeah, whatnot yeah. be there. Yeah. Is this is, is he egging you on, telling you to do this as well? No, actually, he doesn't want me to run for for public <laughs> office because uh, you know I've been in the private sector for right. all these years, but. Um, uh, my stepmother is running for Congress, uh, okay. uh, Gina, and uh, and I asked my father, why don't you run for the Senate? And he yeah. said, my father is turning 73. Oh, that's right. So uh, uh, so we talked about it, and I said I'd be interested in running for the Senate. I think I'll, I'll do well in the Senate. Okay, but so, you have said on several times, uh, Joey, on a, several several occasions on mm -hmm. record that you would not run, that you simply are a businessman. Yeah. Uh, of course, this has changed now, obviously. Yeah. Is it still, again, because... No, um, basically after the ZTE controversy and yeah. a lot of um, uh, invitations from students, student organizations, you know, a lot of our students are cynical okay. and, and, and telling, they tell me, Joey, nothing's going to change. Put a new person there, it's mm -hmm. going to be the same thing. But that's the, that's the kind of mentality that I want to change and I, I've been able to successfully do it in the schools. And at the same time, I would go to, uh, visit the urban poor yeah. and talk about poverty. But that's kind of weird because when I started talking poverty in Navotas, yeah. after my second statement, I said, I can't talk about poverty in front of these guys because they know poverty that's more right. than I do. That's so right. I tell them that I, you know, I have not gone through any uh, poverty in my life. I've been lucky and blessed, but I think I can, I'll be, I can help the people. Mm -hmm. uh, by my experience in in uh, in business, uh, in economics, and and the NGO work that I've been doing for the last ten years. So, so we can say that uh, top of your list, and I, I think uh, something you'd like to see maybe most politicians do is deal with poverty, number one problem in the country. Uh, yeah, yes, um, hunger is number one uh, mm -hmm. based on SWS, and graft and corruption is okay. a now a very close second. It Perfect. used to be like third or fourth, okay. but. Uh, but I think that's the, that's one of the biggest problems because that takes away money that's supposed to be money for different programs right. of government. So uh, <coughs> now, what's keeping you from formally announcing you're running for the Senate is mm. the fact that you don't have a political party. Yes, yes, I don't. I don't have a political party at the moment. Uh, you have no intentions of running as an independent. This is something that you definitely are going to jump on. You just have to pick which one. Yes, uh, I uh, being an independent doesn't make sense in a national <laughs> campaign, especially uh -huh. for me a neophyte, novice. You know, I need a political party to help me, especially in the legal and uh, points, and also uh, having watchers because that's very important. And but why not say uh, we, we run with Ed up because I know Ed up has slated you as part of yes, his uh, senatorial yes. group. Mm. Um, are you going to run with him if? Uh I mean, if the choice comes around. Yeah, most likely uh, I will run with him. Um, I've been invited, uh, but uh, I. Since the ZTE, you know, I've had death threats, and yeah. I, I've talked to you about yeah. this in 07, 08, and part of 09. And it was actually Makati Mayor Judge Omar Binay and Arab Estrada who actually secured me okay. and helped me through this problem uh, mm -hmm. with uh, death threats to my own life and to my family's life. So it's something that there's that utang ng loob. And secondly, of course, uh, President Aquino 
when she was alive in 07, when we talked for about 20 minutes, she said she, she would be praying for me. Okay. So uh, I think those are the main drivers why I'm actually uh, inclined to join. But then why, why the flirt with the idea of going to another party then? Why not just lock it down already and ready to go? Yeah, well, I, I believe that uh, other candidates would want to have uh, good, uh, good senators that most likely will win and would be able to help them in their economic or whatever agenda they're pushing. And the other party I'm talking to is uh, also a uh, Pro poor has have pro poor mm. pro programs, so it's aligned with, with what Arab has as well. So I, I don't see a problem, and they're not talking even about having common candidates right. in different parties because there are not enough senators who are running or not enough senators who are rating who are rating. All right. Yeah. Well, how ne you were saying that the, uh, a senatorial candidate, whether it be you or anyone else, is uh, it's mm. necessary to have a party. Right. There are guys that say like Cheese, who mm. uh, recently believe that you should not be part of a party. Um, how much? Does the party play in helping your campaign, funding, um, you said legal advice earlier? I mean, yeah. how, how come you cannot win without a party? Well, firstly, you need to be able to have uh, uh, access to the documents, okay. especially the primary documents, which the parties would have. And uh, as I said, uh, in a party, they have their own lawyers yeah. for each province. They have watchers for all the precincts, which is very expensive. Uh, and thirdly, they take care of the logistics of mm -hmm. uh, their rallies. Uh, uh, they provide you transportation and they pay for the hotels. And they also do collective advertising, okay. which is probably one of the big component of the, contr the contribution. So. Uh, uh, after that, that it's, you're pretty much on your own. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, I think those things are big ticket items, which I think will be able to help me, and that that should be okay. Yeah, if you do join uh, Ed Up's party here, um, you know, so much news is being is revolving around him because people mm. are wondering, what is it? Can he run? Can he not run? Mm. What's the deal? Mm -hmm. uh, your quick take on his uh, ability to run. Mm -hmm. And is your hesitation to not join his party right away maybe because he might not be allowed to run? Well, uh, on the legal side, I believe he's uh, a lot of uh, the lawyers and Supreme Court justices and a lot of legal people that said that he can run. I've, I've, I've looked at the information and I believe le from a legal standpoint he can run. But I think it's going to be more of a political decision whether he be allowed to run or not. Well, when you, when you say he's allowed to run, I'm sorry, I, I want to go off topic a little sure. bit here. Um, why is he allowed to, to run, in your opinion, uh, you know, based on the legal uh, documents and things like that? I mean, because uh, doesn't that make kind of doesn't make sense then that any other non-president can run or presidents pa in the past can run? I mean, why, why do you think he's so allowed to? Uh, because it's got to be a political decision made by the president, not by the Supreme Court. I believe that with all due respect to the Supreme Court, it will still be GMA. 